In this problem, we have an equation involving an infinite sum, and we're being asked to solve for r. So we have the sum from 1 to infinity of r to the n, and we're told it's equal to 2 thirds, and we have to find r. So first of all, because we're told that the sum is equal to a number, that means that the series converges. So we have a convergent series, which is geometric, which means that the absolute value of r is less than one. So this is a convergent geometric series, very, very key. So because it's a convergent geometric series, all we have to do is use the formula to find the sum of this series, and then set it equal to two thirds. So the trick uh, is the way I do it is you just take whatever number is here and you plug it in for the n and the result goes up top. So it'll be just r to the one over, and then you always just divide by one minus r. So one minus r. This always works every time, okay? You just take whatever number is here, you plug it in, and then you just divide by one minus r. And this is equal to two over three. So now we just have to solve for r. So I'm thinking maybe we can multiply both sides by one minus r, then multiply here by one minus r, these cancel. This is r equals two thirds times one minus r. So r is equal to, let's go ahead and distribute, two thirds times one is two thirds, and two thirds times r is just two thirds r. And we're trying to solve for r, so maybe uh, we can get all of the r's together on one side. Um, you know, if the fractions are annoying, what you can do is you can multiply both sides by three. Let's do that. Put a three here, put a three here. So you get three R equals three times two thirds is two minus, and then same thing here, the threes cancel, so you get two R. Just makes it a little bit cleaner. You know, we could have done that up here as well. Just multiply by the three right away to clean it up. Add two R to both sides. Boom, so we get five R equals two, and then to finish up, we just divide by five, divide by five, we end up with r equals two fifths, which agrees with what we suspected, right? r is a number less than one in absolute value. So not too difficult. Um, basically, what you want to do is just use the formula for a convergent geometric series. So again, take this number, plug it in, divide by one minus r, and then set it equal to the answer, which is two thirds, and then just solve for r and you should be good. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.